back to Best Car Fixes. Again, we are in this Mini Cooper. Uh, we follow a couple of steps. We have injector problem, as you know, you remember. We change the injectors, everything, it come out that the computer is no good. The injector line is no good. Even though after we started recently, there is no code for that. But the decision was to change the, the computer. We get a computer from a junkyard. The computer come from a, a st automatic transmission car. This is a stick shift car. First, you need, we need to do is to write down the ISN number from the old computer to the new computer or clone it. Cloning it, it fell. I was using um, AutoHex uh, brand. It doesn't want to read it. I try another one, PC Flash. It doesn't want to uh, uh, clone it for me. So the next step is to do what? To read the ISN and write it into the cast or to read the ISN and write it back into the computer. We put the computer in. We read the ISN. We try to write it back, uh, to write it back into the donor computer. It doesn't want to take it. So what we did is we write down the ISN, the ISN from the original computer or from the donor computer to the CAS. Now the car start. Even though it's coming from the automatic transmission, the car start right away by pushing, you know, like pushing the 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 the, the, the transmission shift pedal. The car start. But we have a code for the transmission. My friend from Egypt, he's a very, very good, his name is Hisham, he's online with me now. Um, I told him about that, he said, no, the software is different. You cannot, uh, if you cannot clone it by program or, uh, what do you say, coding it by a different tools, coding maybe only change the VIN number, but the part number, the software number, to remove the transmission code, you must get the original, uh, original partner original software not the part number the only tool that can do it is you use the, the bmw uh, tools we are online here now you see those tools i'm not expert on it but if you, you see here we have he set he set up all this for me maybe if you need it down i will put uh, his link there you can contact him maybe it will help you to do all this or programming or coding but together now mr hisham you're here with us right yeah i'm here you Good. So uh, I'm gonna give you the the any desk, any desk, and then as you told me before, uh, the the part number could be the same, but the software could be different. Yeah, I'm really not sure about that, but uh, now I will connect um, uh, with any desk to see uh, if the flash number is the same. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna uh, use tool thirty two um, to reset the variant coding. Okay, so let's okay. see. Yeah, so now, I, I let you in. Yeah. Okay. okay, let me just try to, to do one thing here. Yeah, let's go. I'm good. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Do whatever you want. No, I'm good now. You, you, it's yours. Okay, so now uh, we have the donor uh, computer installed on the vehicle. Yes. Okay. I'm sorry, now here I want to, I just uh, want to tell them something. Uh, that data we took from uh, the old computer and we uh, has um, ZB number and software number from uh, the original one, okay? Okay, okay. This, yeah, these numbers. We're gonna compare it with the other one to see if they are the same or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what we are going to do right now. Uh, for that we need to uh, lock icon and connect to IP it's good now right the icon is it connected or not yeah it's connected Okay, it's different, right? Yeah. 
the icon was different? Yeah, uh, different uh, at least from the last time I connected. Now it's okay. Okay. So the first thing I will do, we're going to connect to uh, that ECU. This is our ECU. <laughs> Yeah, read font memory. Uh, Bootshaft EGS means uh, electronic transmission control. Uh, we have a font code for the first cylinder. Do you do you believe that no, I, 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 I use uh, ICOM, I use the BMW tools, and it say all green, it never, it, it was not able to give me codes, I was surprised. But here we have uh, codes, uh, that one related to the transmission and that one related yeah. to uh, cooling temperatures. So we will erase for codes. Now, this is a German language. Uh, yeah, uh, that one means uh, read for code. And now, um, can you start the car once again uh, to yeah. see if these false codes uh, come back or not? Okay, I do that now. Turn the ignition off and start the car again. I start it. The code will come automatically or we have to read it? No, we have to read it again. Now we started the card for some time? Yeah, I read it, yeah. You see now, it coming. Um, okay, okay. Now I read the phone codes again and came back here. Transmission. So, uh, now I will um, get the software number. AIF lesson means repeat. Okay, let me let me turn the key off. Hold on. Uh, car is running. Let me make it on only. Okay, now it's good. Okay. Yes. Okay, this is a this is a okay. new this is a software from the donor. Yeah. But the so, uh, I will make a copy from that. Just in case. The lower one would be um, new ECU. And guess what? I even I even uh, I even coded and and changed the VIN number. I don't know why it's still the VIN number there. <laughs> yeah, because uh, that VIN number is from uh, AIF. Oh. That will never be changed uh, until we go uh, with Win KFP. Oh. So now. Uh, I, I, I'm not sure uh, if this fault code uh, because a uh, uh, different flash or different uh, software violate. So uh, now I will um, uh, check something here. If I go here, then maybe we can change that later. But but uh, I will go here. Variant Luisian or, or I don't know how to say it correctly. It's in German, but. Uh, uh, this one means um, it is. So we ordered it. Then we double click on it. I'm sorry. Then if it's listen, if it's solution. Okay. Now we want to uh, double check that. Start the car uh, and do it once again. Oh, okay. So. See, uh, oh, you mean that you, you're right? Okay. If it's gonna go by just by just coding, right? Okay, let me yeah. let me turn the engine off completely. Let yeah. me turn it off completely, and then I start it again. Because because the part number is different. I don't know if it's, it's gonna talk, it's gonna go or not. Yeah, now you can do. Okay. Nothing. No codes. Yeah. So that means that's enough. Maybe the the the, the part number. So that means that means it's good. Yeah, it means good. But um, maybe try it once again. Stop the car, uh, the engine. But remember, it never go away. It never go away faster. I stop it a little bit. Yeah, yeah, I would do that.
Okay, now you can try again. Okay. Nothing. So that's See that? that's good. Yeah. Um. Nothing. Is the is the flash is the flash maybe the flash are the same or maybe there's gonna be a different. Uh, the flash, I see that it's different. Look. Uh, so do do we need to flash it? You need to flash it in case you uh, you want to uh, change uh, the VIN number on the AIF. Okay. And uh, if you have other fault codes, uh, maybe related with that uh, um, uh, computer. Also, maybe we we we, we compared something. Uh, you can take that VIN uh, uh, number and uh, put it on uh, real OEM. Yeah, and see what, and see if they 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 come up to the. Okay. And I, I, I'm not sure exactly if uh, these two uh, having uh, different data on it. Uh, so uh, sometimes uh, you know if the engine is uh, 1.4 liters or 1.6 liters, it may uh, differ on something like that. But let's, I'm not sure about that. Let's uh, let's go just program it one time, so people also know what they need to be done. Okay, so uh, now for that we will um, uh, go uh, to WinKFP program. Now the car uh, is running or not? It's running. You want me to turn it off? Yeah, turn off, connect charger. Ignition on. Uh, yeah, charger is on. Charger is on, yeah. Charger is on? Yeah, charger is on. Okay. Okay. So for that we will go for uh, comfort mode. Also, before that, you need to import PAPD, PSGBD, assembly line data for uh, R56 uh, to get the data uh, connected uh, to uh, that program, okay? Okay. And we already did that. Then uh, I will enter the USP. I will close that because we don't need that anymore. And... Um, I will enter the DSP, that one. Okay. Minimize. Go there, control B. Okay. Uh, error in determining ZB number, maybe because we have, uh, we didn't um, link the data correctly, or we don't have that file. In the system. On, on our data, so I will go uh, uh, ECU uh, that and look for MEV uh, that one Yes. Uh, seven five. Seven seven five nine. You found it? Seven. I will look for seven seven six on the zero. Mm. I see seven five nine seven five nine, nine seven zero five nine no so we don't uh, have that ZB on the data okay Seven five nine two. Seven five nine two. Okay, so we don't have that uh, ZB number on our data. Seven okay. Five two. Okay, I will look for that too. We're gonna look for it, and then when we get it, maybe maybe twenty two. Uh, yeah, maybe here. Yeah. All of 
them begin with eight. It's not there. I have another idea. I have another idea, but uh, I'm not sure if it's all, uh, if it will work or not. Uh, we may connect uh, the old control unit, which mm -hmm. is having uh, that ZB number, and try to update it. And look uh, for a Winky FP when it will update that one. To what? The ZB number. Uh, it will update it to. To another number. Yeah, you will get another number. And then, and then uh, we look for that. Uh, and then, uh, and uh, one KFP uh, will update with the same variance. So uh, if we update that one, uh, which we doesn't have on our data, it will give you another number. So uh, the other number you can use it to flash that one, and it okay. will be updated. Okay, that's good then. So now we're gonna we're gonna leave it now here like this. And uh, okay. we, we can continue for it for tomorrow. We have 60 minutes on this video. I'm going to set it up, put it up, and then we have another video coming on. So please uh, okay. continue with us. Thank you very much, and thank you for your support. I'm going to take that one out, put it on, and then we come for it tomorrow. Okay, okay. That's very good. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Hisham. At least, at least we did the fourth code. Yeah. So, uh, we, we're going to scan the, car, the whole car for uh, fourth codes. If, uh, we have anything related to engine co uh, computer maybe coding, maybe i'm gonna drive it maybe maybe like that. maybe i'm gonna take the two vin numbers compare it if they are extension to each others those two part numbers software yeah. number, and then we go from yeah. there okay. Okay, okay thank you That's see you good. see you in another video thank you for watching please support our channel and see you in another video thank you very much